Hi, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to put this lens back in and fix this frame even though it is broken and the lens has fallen out. In my repair I'm going to be using super glue. You could use heat and do plastic welding to repair the frame but in this case I'm just going to be using super glue and these lenses are not worth putting in brand new frames. For example, if you wanted to, you could go and choose a pair of sunglasses that have a slightly smaller frame, then the optometrist can just cut away the lens that is not being used, and you could reuse the lens as long as the frame is smaller. But in this case, I'm going to resurrect these spectacles and I will be gluing them. Right, now the first step is to clean the frames. Now since I'm going to be using super glue, I need to clean the frame with rubbing alcohol. This is not the same as a hand sanitizer. A hand sanitizer often has glycol in. This is just alcohol and water, so it will not leave any oily residue. Right, I'm going to use this to wipe down the lenses and the frame. Right, there's a lot of makeup on this frame, so I'm just going to get it off with the alcohol. Right, I'm just cleaning the frame. I'm not cleaning the lens. This is the wrong cloth to clean a lens with. I'm just cleaning the frame around the lens. Right, so it's much cleaner now, but what I need to do is clean in the grooves here. Right, so I'm going to take a toothbrush and I'm going to brush inside of the grooves here. I want that completely free of any dirt. Right, now I'm just going to dry it. Right, so the preparation on the frame side is complete. Now I just need to work with the lens. Now I'm not going to clean the lens because I'm going to be touching it a lot. What I want to do is I want to clean the edges here. So I'm taking my alcohol and I'm just going along the edges. Right, so the edges have no oily residue at all. Now I quickly want to check that it does fit in here correctly. Right, so the fitting is correct. Now all I need to do is glue this closed. If I put glue just on the edge there, yes, it will hold. But when the user uses the sunglasses and maybe opens it a bit wide, it'll just break because super glue is brittle. The best option would be to heat this up and to weld it. But I know that's going to be very technical and I know that is quite difficult and it often becomes a bit of a mess. So in this case, I am going to be doing something which is unconventional. And that is I'm going to glue the lens into the frame because I'm never going to use this lens outside of this frame. Usually we do not glue the lens into the frame because I'm not going to take this lens out and put it in another frame, I can glue it. This method will also work with a glass lens, but in this case it's a plastic lens which will be even better. Right, so I'm going to take some super glue. I'm not promoting any brands. Any good quality super glue will work. Right, so I've got a piece of cardboard here and a screwdriver and then my super glue. I also have a cable tie handy and some insulation tape. The reason being is once I glue that lens in here, I need to apply constant force for about 20 minutes minutes while that glue dries and that's where I'm going to use the insulation tape or you could use the cable tie. The only problem with the cable tie is it sometimes slips off. Right the first step is to put a few drops of the super glue on the paper here. Now as a precautionary step I'm just wrapping the other lens in bubble wrap and the reason for that is if I get any of that super glue on the plastic surface I will destroy it it will damage the surface of the lens. So just in case some drips in there or I touch it and I touch the lens, that will be a problem. So I've got the other side in the bubble wrap and now what I do is I take my screwdriver and I put it in the groove here. So what I'm doing is I'm painting it into the groove and it's not a lot, it's just a little bit of the super glue. And I'm just painting it in. You can also use a toothpick I'm putting it in the groove here and I'm being very careful not to get it on the surface of the frame. If I want to add more, I just go over it a second time. Now I'm not going to glue the entire section. I'm just gluing just here where the break is. If you're worried about some of the glue getting on your frame, you can take a little bit of petroleum jelly, just a little bit, and you can put it on the surface like this just on the surface. So if any of the super glue had to spill out, it would not damage the frame because of the petroleum jelly. Right, so I'm going to continue putting the super glue here. And I've got to be quite quick because super glue does start to dry. And there we go. Right, so there's enough on the frame. Now I just need to make sure that I get some here where the break is. So I just put it on both sides of where the break is. Now here's the very tricky part. You can decide if you want to do this. It's not a requirement. I know that the frame broke over here. 
So I'm taking just a little bit and putting it on this surface. If you're worried about the super glue getting on the lens, you could also put a little bit of the petroleum jelly just on the face of the lens. But in my case, I'm not worried about that. I'm just putting a little bit of super glue here, just on the edges. And if you don't want to do this step, it's fine, as long as you've got the super glue on the frame. But with super glue, it's always better if both sides are glued. I'm not doing the whole lens, I'm just doing where the break is. Now I'm going to take that lens and I'm going to seat it inside here. Be very careful not to touch anything while you're inserting it because of the super glue. So I'm coming in from the back, I'm going to lift that up and here we go. Right, the petroleum jelly is very useful because I'm not getting any super glue on my fingers because it's got a petroleum jelly coating. Right, that needs to dry and this is where the insulation tape comes in handy. It's not very tight but just enough to keep it closed. Right, so I let that dry for at least 20 minutes. It will also dry very well in the sun. Right, so it's been about half an hour and I'll just remove the tape. Right, before I clean the frames, I'm just going to do a strength test. When people put on spectacles, they tend to oversize it, or maybe they put it over their hair. Now look, there's no creaking at all. And the next thing is there's often lateral force on spectacles. Right, so if I apply lateral force, right, so that's quite significant. Now lastly, often spectacles tend to be squashed. They might be squashed in a bag, so and squishing it there and I'm actually hitting it quite hard and now having a look at where the repair is uh, I'm showing that it is still intact and the only reason that that is still intact is because I put super glue on the lens and as I said that is unconventional one normally does not glue a lens in a frame but as I said this is an unconventional repair now just a tip I only used a little bit of super glue but even so super glue often leaves a white residue over here where the lens meets the frame, there's a bit of white residue here. Now what I want to do is I want to remove it. So I've taken a sharp toothpick and I just kind of scratch it away. Now I'm not damaging the lens because it's right on the edge here and I just want to get rid of this excess super glue. Now this is one of the reasons why I paint it on the surface and paint it on the other surface so that it doesn't smear. Because the minute super glue smears, you're going to get a super glue smear and it goes white and it's really a nuisance. So there quite a lot of it is gone and if I carry on doing it, it will help. What does also help is a silicone spray or a lubricant just to put over the super glue, it dulls that white. For example, if I just put a little bit on my finger here and I put it on the toothpick and I just rub it along there and there I'm showing it's a lot better right there is the repair and now all I'm going to do is clean it right I'm going to remove the petroleum jelly then I'm going to take a lens cleaner and just spray it on the lenses and then I'm just going to take my little cloth to clean the lenses and I'm being pretty vigorous here and there's no problem Right, and there is the repair. If there is some space at the back and you don't mind a little bit of imperfection, you can dab a little bit of the glue here to build up this section. If after using the super glue it still breaks, at that point one would need to do the plastic welding and then I use a soldering iron to melt the plastic now this step is more tricky and it does tend to make a mess. I have detailed videos explaining how to perform plastic welding. I'm just going to show a little bit here. I'm just going to weld a little bit into this plastic over here just as an example. And unfortunately it does deform the plastic. So the technique here is to take plastic from the one side and plastic from the other side then hold the soldering iron on and let the two plastics melt together. One has to hold the soldering iron here for a significant amount of time to make sure that it does melt. In some cases, I even take additional plastic and add it to the plastic that's already here. In this case, I'm just smearing plastic from nearby and putting it over that gap where the crack was. Now obviously the more you do this, the less brittle it will be because it now becomes a plastic bond rather than a superglue bond. A superglue bond is a brittle bond. 
plastic bond is malleable. Right, so I have been able to melt the plastic from the one side to the other side. Now all I need to do is smooth this out and try and make it look decent. So that's another view of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my soldering iron and I'm kind of rubbing it. Now don't worry if it leaves a bit of a smear. There is a way to solve that. I just don't want it to be rough. Now there's the weld and I'm just taking some very fine sandpaper and I'm just sanding it down so there's no burrs here. Now this step is not a requirement. You don't have to do that. You can use a soldering iron to do this for you. But I'm not sanding it at all on the face because then it will be noticeable. I'm sanding it here at the back. And that's where most of my soldering was. Right, so in this case, I've used the super glue and the plastic welding. And the only thing I want to do is to shine this up because it's quite dull. Now, at this point, you can also use the silicone spray. So I just put a little bit on a cloth and I buff this up. Right, there's the repair with the super glue and now with the plastic welding. And now with the plastic welding, this is as strong as the original. Please check out my detailed videos on how to perform plastic welding. The links are under the description below. Thanks for watching and cheers.